Hello everybody, Swift here again with another Backpack Battles run and today I'm gonna try to do a new build I've never done before which is the Dragon build. Let's get a pan for early start and let's get an early healing herb and I think we should be good to go. Actually I'm gonna roll into a broom if I can find one. I'm gonna buy deck of cards. We found deck of cards very early, nice. That's literally what I wanted. I could sell the dagger here. I don't want to sell anything actually and I will also go for the um, shovel obviously and they also got the shovel right away. We're gonna speed through this, this is a guaranteed loss. Double weapons beat pretty much everything. And we found the broom, so we also got the broom built going. Uh, I will get the broom over the... What's it called? The deck of cards. Although they both fit anyway, so I don't even need to do anything. And we will buy this so we can reroll the shop for free. Let's go. This time we should be winning, unless it's a shovel build. <laughs> Sim Master. Theoretically, we should lose. I mean, DPS-wise, we should be higher, but they already blinded us twice. And uh, we do have poison, which might... Oh, we do have poison and region. No, we're winning. They don't have enough healing to out heal us. By the way, uh, got the, this here, the healing herb heals more than what the banana heals. This is four healing every five. So that's less than one per second. This is two every two. So this is one per second. Okay. Got the shovel to start gaining stuff. Let's go here. I'm inclined to say we want to get the piggy bank. We definitely want the attack speed and i'm gonna say yes to the piggy bank and let's go in general the build is a late game build we want to find specifically by the way always have these inside because at the start of the fight they might poison the opponent if you're lucky they have more poison than us and a lot more weapons than us yeah they definitely have more poison than us they have more everything than us and we are go down nice we're gonna go down to one life as we always do in the beginning on attack speed that's very lucky because that's part of the build too. And we found a gemstone. A poison gemstone from the shovel. Also lucky. Found room. Very nice. Found region. Also very nice. And didn't find a single card yet. Found lovers. We're gonna buy lovers. That's an early game win. I would even, I'm would. i inclined to say we sell this for the lovers. That's how crazy I think it, good it is. I don't really think it's that good though. <laughs> I would like to buy a poison flask. Poison dagger though. That's, that's a good early game. In general, the build is going to be dragons. At least that's my idea. I want to build dragons. That's why I also want the piggy bank to be able to roll later. This is a stone build? I guess this is a poison build with a bunch of shielding. They have more poison than us. They have more blind than us. So they have more everything than us. And that should be a win already. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. By the way, the gem we put on this thing is the, what's poisoning them. 25% chance to fly poison. And I found another. Wow. 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 We're only finding good thing. We found the healing here. I would say we buy... I would say we go for the combo on this. The piggy bank is good and all for money, but power damage is more important. Let's... Uh, I will buy the piggy bank for two, obviously. Once again, weapon of choice is dragons. So we need to find some dragon eggs. And for us to find dragon eggs, we need to find a customer card. I think the gloves of face here are really, really helpful. And I should also keep my eye out for vampirism, so I put it on the gloves of face right away. They have already... We have the same amount of poison. And they have... And I have more blindness. We won. We won. I don't know why we won. I guess we had more DPS. Yeah, we had more DPS. 47 on the poison on them. 40 on there. 44 shovel. Yeah, we had more DPS with the shovel. And I found the blue dragon. Very nice. So this thing says... 12 plus 5 shielding for each card before it, and this is the card before it, it steals 11 life, and if the number of cards before it is even, which it is, it's 0, gain to ramp regen. We're gonna go here, and here, and here, and we also found the customer card, and we also found... Wait, oh, this just flipped out, okay, and now I have a poison dagger, which heals 10% life. I would like to get the customer card to find the eggs, but right now I don't even have room. Roll them. I found a potion, which I'm gonna definitely buy. And we found the egg. We found an egg and energy. Do I want the lovers? Honestly, no. Uh, I will keep the blindness. Let's go. We're gonna start combining stuff and going ham with this. This is a health potion with poison. I don't have a health potion. We're gonna lose this fight. I mean, we do have poison application with a dagger. It inflicts two poison per smack. So we have a consistency on poison. More than they do, but they just got rid of my their poison. No, we won. They are blind. They are poisoned. They are frozen. They are everything. Ah! Yes, the one almost lost there with a draw. Actually, won. Very nice. Let's go. I would say these two. And if I go these two, they don't fit. I, I would say this and the dragon egg. Like the dragon egg is guaranteed. 
And I would say one less poison. One less poison mushroom over the piggy bank. You go here. No, 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 no. The gloves attack speed is better for sure. And you go like this. Nice. And one pocket sand. Why not? I'm going to keep the piggy banks. We need money. Let's go. We need money because we need to reroll. We might lose this fight, but the money is more important. Double shovel build. We're going to lose anyway. This isn't even min max. And we're going to lose out of a non min max potion build. It is what it is. Sometimes you lose to whatever. Oh, actually, we're winning. <laughs> actually, we won. They are over blinding us. Yes, but we actually out blinded them because I was lucky. I guess they have seven blind and nine poison. And at this point, they shouldn't be able to take over because we're out poisoning them. We're also out healing them. We have six region. They don't. We won. Very nice. I'm not seeing to go down to one health. Wow, achieve Mr. Struggles. A bit unlucky because I'm going to go with Chris Dagger. So uh, I will buy the Chris Dagger. Trigger extra, tri the most important aspect here is on stun, trigger extra attacks. On hit, inflict two random debuffs. Those two are the most important aspect. Let's hope we're not going to find Vampirism. Ace of Spades, no. Yes on this. Yes on the Torquilla. Roll into room. Found room. Also more room. Also healing herb. I don't need more healing herbs. I mean, I need... Actually, I need two more. Right? For the quadruple potion explosion thing. Oof. We don't have room. Stone out. You join. <laughs> what else is out? I guess some piggies are gonna go. This definitely joins. The debuff dagger definitely joins. Poison dagger also joins. Uh, Jinx Torquilla also definitely joins. I mean, right now, I would say we don't go with uh, this 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 thing here. I would say the, the these go away. I think Torquilla is a lot more powerful than all of those. Here it hits everything. Egg definitely stays. This also joins, so we get a combo going. Nice. And now we can also throw some trash inside of this. I would say poison goes here. And let's go. Poison or anti-vampirism? I think poison's better. And I have literally everything getting the attack speed buff other than the garlic, but who cares? I mean, I care. Let's put this over here so it actually gets the buff. As simple as that. Nice. I love the reorganized thing that's happening. And uh, yeah, we will still buy these. Let's go. This should be a win, theoretically. We are more powerful than we used to be previously. Uh, they are also the same build with us, plus fatigue. The plus fatigue aspect is pretty bad. They started us with four blindness. Ah, we reflected. Ah, that's why we're winning these fights, because we have the Ruby Egg reflecting blinds and whatnot. They have nine blind, 14. Oh, they drunk potions. They are out poisoning us for sure. I have one potion, but I'm not going to out poison them. And fatigue is guaranteed on their end. So let's hope we're going to win one more hit. One more hit, one more hit. Yes, Woo! almost lost from fatigue, but we won. They had a crystal. That's why I was afraid of fatigue fight. And I now found the crystal and I found the second Ruby Egg. Perfect. The build is ready. This is literally the build. I, I just now, I, I now just need to find what I want. We buy this. We sell this. I do want the region. Maybe later. Let's get the attack speed. Sell the sand. It's just never going to join. And also sell this. Really sure you go definitely over there and you go here. Uh, I guess this is gonna go and you're gonna join. Yeah, this is just straight up sold and you're sold by region. And still, everything is going attack speed crazy. And uh, let's go. The deck needs to get put back in when I'm gonna be re rolling, by the way. I need to find those red dragons. That's what I'm searching for the red dragon cards. Big chunk is what we're gonna play, and then just a bunch of gloves of haste. And Vampirism, and that's it. And more Torquillas. That's the, the the build is attack speed, madness, crits build. That's the idea. I didn't even read what the dragon does. Uh, by the way, we're winning from poison, I would hope. 27. Yeah, yes! Woo! Almost lost, but at the end one. Woo! Okay, very nice. I would say we buy stamina pack for room mainly. Uh, I will put this in so we start finding things. So they're flown. Roll them. I definitely want the potion explosion build. I mean, not right now, but you know. Roll them. Room for one. Yes. Roll them. On the crystal, irrelevant. All of these are relevant. Now the cards actually can join. Nice. So now I'm still doing the still 11 life gain to regen and then the explosion. I don't care about any of these, by the way. I care only about the dragon. This dragon's gonna pop next, by the way. I, I want the red dragons card. Now I want two red dragons and then just a bunch of attack speed. So theoretically, I should be forcing here. This egg is legendary. Uh, we should be winning. I mean, we're losing the poison build until I just drank a potion. We're still losing the poison build. We're losing every build. <laughs> if we're dead. Uh, nice. We're down to two health. Okay, find more room. Really important. Find another one of these. So this is going to go here. So it also gets the attack speed. I mean, I would like this dagger to be hitting those. Maybe something like this. 
and one dragon goes up there. Yeah, I think so. Yep. At least one dragon's getting the buff. And also this uh, chip thing. You go here, you go here. Nice. Can I reorganize this a bit better? Can this go to the right? No, it cannot go to the right. Uh, let's roll and see. If oh, I found another dagger for the poison dagger idea. No, 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 no. Here we go. Nice. We found the holy lizard. Very important. Uh, how will I fit it though? Is the question. I would say this goes like this. And you go up here. But then the Torquilla doesn't hit it. That's bad. No, I need to do a mini reorganize. Mini reorganize time. I'm gonna definitely buy this. Mini reorganize time. Actually, I should sell the piggy bank and get that. Yeah, and then I'm gonna have a lot of room. Sell the piggy bank, buy this. I don't even have a potion explosion ready, by the way. Doesn't matter. Reorganize time. Okay, I think we're done. Uh, let's hope we're not gonna lose here. We're gonna get the ruby whelp chunk thing that I want. Uh, I don't have energy issues, honestly. I literally have only one weapon that is attacking with energy. Uh, I hope we're not gonna lose from spikes, though. Spikes is my biggest issue, and it's a spike build. Oof. Oof. That was a big oof. And a big whiff. I should maybe even remove everything that is melee attacking right now. Only stick to the dragons. We, only, we already got the dragons I mainly care about. We are winning, by the way. We got seven heat. And we won. Very nice. They have 17, po 17 blindness, 25 poison and everything else. We destroyed them. What's doing the most damage on our end? Poison, obviously. Ruby ball, ruby ball, shovel, and then Chris dagger, and then hole of fire lizard. I mean, Chris dagger is last. Where's the poison dagger? Poison dagger is 10 damage. How? I guess it's missing mainly. What did it miss? We had 95% accuracy and it missed at the very end. Anyway, we got a poison harvester here. Doesn't matter. Boom. We got the thing. Ruby chunk. So... On hit, gain 1 speed. When you have at least 10 speed, has a 100% chance to stun the opponent for 0.5. It's heat, heat, not speed. Heat gives 2.5, 2% uh, 2, 2 attack speed per stack. So this is going to start stacking attack speed. And then I want the second ruby bulb. I'm going to throw the shovel away. We're going to only keep the cursed dagger and the poison dagger. Because when we're going to be stunning, we're going to be poisoning and applying a bunch of poison on the opponent and whatnot. And then the shovel, as I said, is going to go. It's going to be like an attack speed crazy build. What is the shovel? Just roll the attack speed. Give it to this thing. Roll him. On our ice. I don't want ice. I don't even want the deck. I just want fire. And that's it. Like, I just want fire, get the ruby bulb, and then the deck is gonna go, and we're gonna invest into the dragons only. Energy. I mean, we don't care about the energy. We care about the room mainly. Also not about that. Remove a bunch of debuffs. Attack speed's definitely a yes. Roll them. Another attack speed's definitely a yes. Uh, sell the pig bank? No. Sell the, the white eyes? No, no, no. We're not going to sell anything. Okay, I think the time has come for the ruby chunk to go here. We need to reorganize. We need to actually reorganize now. So this is an actual reorganize time. Okay, back. Done. I will be reorganizing a lot of times today, uh, but it's okay. Right now we have the Jinx Torquilla hitting mainly the Chris Dagger and the Double Ruby, the Ruby Chunk and the Ruby Whelp. I want to get a second Ruby Whelp, by the way. And uh, the idea is the following. This thing, this thing, first of all, start of battle, gain two um, heat. Then this thing starts giving us heat. This has 1.6 attack speed. We want to make this as fast as possible. We want to find as many gloves of face as possible and find poison uh, vampirism gloves. We're going to start forcing builds in a moment. I will go for a fanny pack. I will go for fanny packs. Gloves of Haste, Jinx Torquillas, and anything that has attack speed. Obviously, we will try to also get the healing potions in the meanwhile, but that's a bit irrelevant in the grand scheme of things. So for the best here, this is a fatigue build, so theoretically we should have them, as we are a debuff build. They don't have anything other than fatigue. This is literally a defensive fatigue build. And we are, and now we have 10 heat, so now we're gonna start stunning. Every time we stun both of these daggers fire. Uh, so the opponent will start getting debuffed very fast, and they're gone. And they're gone, 22 speed. Fatigue, obviously. How much attack speed does this have? 0 0.61. 1.22. 0 0.61. Do you understand how crazy this is? Every 0 0.61 second, this attacks with a chance to stun for 0 0.5. We continue having the shovel here doing its job. Uh, we found the attack speed, obviously. Uh, this is gonna get reorganized in a moment. Godlike roll right here. Godlike roll right here. And we found another one of these. Uh, this is so badly laid out. Ah, uh, this is such a bad layout on these. 
It's okay though. Ah, no, it's not okay. Yeah, we need to reorganize. Uh, let's put more room in. Let's uh, roll. No. I need one more red dragon, by the way. I found this and I found attack speed. Uh, reorganize time again. Okay, done. Okay, I think we're good. We also got the potions rolling slowly. I'm gonna buy this in this next turn. I would also like gem books of riches, maybe. Anyway, this is a spikes build. We have issues with spikes. Don't be mistaken about that. We have some pocket healing here to maybe counter them, but I think I should start throwing away my... Uh, mostly, mainly my shovel. I get an expect from the poison dagger is okay. The expect from the shovel is not what we destroyed. <laughs> we destroyed them, man. We destroyed them. I don't think they can do anything. Like, they'll get hit here and then boom, the poison got them. Let's continue, obviously. Zero, plus zero to plus five. Wow, plus zero. That's a thing. Stone is useless. Let's buy the vampirism so this fires faster. I didn't min max. This should have been here so we get more attack speed. I think the shovel is no longer needed. Attack speed's definitely a yes. On the chunks. Yeah, I'm gonna buy this regardless. I don't want that. Roll him. Found one. Found one. Shovel time. Go. The build transition is here. Build transition time. We can even fire this at least once and uh, reorganize time for this to fit. Actually, I can just give it to the Torquilla. Can I just give it to Torquilla and be done with that? Not really. And I don't even want it, Torquilla. I want it on the chunks. So give me a sec to reorganize. Okay, and the build is literally one step from being completed because uh, I'm, I'm gonna reorganize this after the fact, but right now this is a go, and then when I get the second chunk, the build is gonna actually start. This is the meta build, Falcon Blade with Gubrit. Let's see if we're gonna survive this. The dragons start attacking. The dragons start attacking, now we have 13 flame. You're not gonna attack again, you're gone. Go, 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 fire, 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 dragon, stun him, stun him, stun him. Go, 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 attack speed. Yes, we won. 25 heat. Once again, every everything gets from heat. 1.67, 2.33, 1.43. Like every, everything, every, every little thing benefits from heat. Got him, nice. And now that I got both chunkers, the time has come to get more gloves of haste, more torque kill us. The, the build is done. Like, we, we just want potions, I guess. <laughs> I will buy another egg. Yes. Let's go for a triple. Will I be fast enough? This needs two rounds. Four rounds of survival. If I find the red dragon... This was on sale. That's why I bought it. If I find the red dragon, then I will keep the egg. If I don't find the red dragon in time, it's gone. Roll him. Roll him. Found this and this and this. Attack speed. Is this attack speed? It's a yes. I mean, the attack speed is a yes. We need to reorganize literally everything right now. This stays. We have time for what we want to do. This gets bought and this gets bought. And now I do reorganize time. The real one, though. Okay, I think we're done. Uh, obviously, we're gonna get the blood amulet to give even more attack speed to that glove. I mean, we're missing some attack speed back here, but it's gonna get filled at some point. It's better to have this Cursed Dagger hitting here. So this dragon has 10% lifesteal and 10% attack speed, and it's gonna be gaining 1% uh, chance to accuracy and crit chance for each debuff the opponent has. The idea here being that we will not miss from a blindness build. And let's actually speed this down because we should be very, very fast attacking anyway. And this is a spikes build, which uh, we shouldn't really have that big issues with. It's a vampirism build mainly. So the dragons will start attacking, we will start gaining our crazy heat. We're already up at 6, 7, 8, 9, and now we start 11. Fire, fire the cannons, now we have a chance to stun. Every time we stun, we just apply a bunch of random debuffs on them and poison and whatnot. They get ice, they get frost, we have 25 heat. It just goes faster and faster and faster and faster. 3d1, 3d2, 3d3, you're gone. You're gone. 3d4 stun. Stun locked until oblivion. <laughs> 0 0.4 cooldown on attack speed so and 0 0.5 we have twice the chance to just straight up make the opponent not be able to do anything this is insane this has this is 10 percent faster attack speed from 0 0.5 to 0 0.4 is an insane difference there is no other aspect of attack speed here given this does not give attack speed Oh no, this, no, 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 it also has a bunch of fanny packs. <laughs> Forget what I said, it also has a, fun, a bunch of fanny packs. I can take that back. And we found another Jinx Torquilla. We're gonna buy the Torquilla over the Vampirism. Actually, Vampirism needs to be combined. So I'm gonna have the, the Vampirism over the Torquilla. Vampirism is relevant, by the way. Uh, it is melee damage. Oh, it's not irrelevant because we have two melee weapons. I, I take that back. So we won't lose from spikes. Now that I'm realizing this, I'm really good. 
I don't think I want this. I do still care about freezing the opponent. I don't care about this, though. Let's sell this. Let's buy an Arthur Killer, and I would say it goes here, so it once again hits everything. And I would like this to go... How is it possible that we don't have room for an egg? Obviously, we have room for an egg. Here we go. You can go here, little piggy. And uh, let's go. Let's go. This should be even crazier now. Even crazier. This is an unhealing build. We're going to still slow this down to 0.5. They do have a str double strong healing potion. They don't have the pop, though. But it's okay. Let's speed the heat up. I have one more chance to find the ruby egg we want. The holy lizard. Otherwise, this dragon... I mean, it's going to stay in the build. There is no downside to having another dragon in the build. 3D poison. 3D1. We have 22 heat. They got the shielding. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Off we fire. 14, 13, 50 poison. 13 ice. It's over, man. It's over. We got 73 poison and 48 speed. How is this? 0 0.3 cooldown. 0 0.36 cooldown. Uh, and I, I will just get more and more to kill us. We got another egg. This has literally no downside. I'm just going to have it here on the side. First of all, it reflects two debuffs. Free for us. And then also start of battle came to haste. Also free for us. So this is a free item. And we're obviously going to take another gloves of haste. It goes here. And you go here. I guess at this point, it doesn't even need to be in a good spot. I guess you can just go straight up here. And you go one back. Still hits everything. This hits everything. Yeah, this hits this dagger. That hits that dagger. Fair enough. So uh, let's roll. I could go for another dagger, but honestly, no room. No room for room. Let's roll them. I want... This is like literally the last chance of us getting a whole lizard. I found a potion, though. I don't have another region. I'm gonna buy the potion, man. Actually speaking, potions are very powerful. I will buy this. I mean, I think we can only lose from poison anyway. Let's see if I can find the hollow lizard. I'm gonna sell a bunch of things if I can find the hollow lizard. Yeah, we're gonna force here. Find the Torquilla. Forget the hollow lizard. Torquilla is the play. Uh, I think I'm gonna sell two. We have two, so that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I can keep the anti vampirism. Yes, and I can even keep. No, this sells for two. So we need six coins, right? We need seven coins. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can I get something better than that? I mean, not really. We didn't get the the hollow lizard. So uh, selling time. Obviously, we're gonna get another Torquilla. Like that's that's a guaranteed given. I would like the Torquilla to somehow be up here. Not possible, obviously. I would like it to be here, which is possible. So you go here and here. No, we wanted to be hitting both dragons, which is here. I mean, down here does it both dragons? No. On closer, maybe no. One back, yes. So from here, from here it can hit both dragons, which doesn't even make sense because it's going to destroy our potion belt, but the potion belt can go down. From here it hits both dragons, potion belt goes down. I got this. Reorganize time. Perfect. Perfect. We got exactly what we wanted. So we got the potion belt here for anti-poison, obviously. We got three Jinx Torquillas hitting literally everything. I mean, this hits every, every, everything. This hits uh, mainly the two back dragon. This also hits mainly the two back dragon. And uh, yeah, this, this should be fastest attack speed possibly possible. Let's also buy this. Why not? And uh, let's go. I'm going to put it on the Torquilla so they fire also faster. Let's speed this down. This is a fatigue build. We're never going to get into fatigue, man. This is a one, two, three, four, five. No, uh, four, four books. Let's see if four books are going to trigger enough times. They do have a bunch of mana. Let's see how four books look. We do have 12 vampirism. So every time we stun, we heal. We are at 18 heat. They they, they won't be able to play, man. It's over. <laughs> you cannot play. Fire, fire, fire. Dragons, fire, fire, fire. Done. <laughs> Stun resist, crit resist, stun resist, dead. <laughs> the 180 da damage on the good dragon, the above one, and then... Wait, the other one did nothing? The other one did 80, 180 and 80. The difference is pretty sizable, man. Pretty sizable difference. 0 0.34 attack speed, 0 0.41 attack speed. And we're also applying a million poison. This is busted, man. Completely and utterly busted. Uh, another vampirism for the glove, although too late. Too late because this is the last turn. We're gonna buy this, we're gonna put it... Not here. Not here. Here. And then this goes down here. So the Torquilla joins again. Actually, we can definitely fit all these Torquillas and everything. Here we go. We we have room, man. We have room. This is not needed. Here you go. Fit everything. Easy enough. And now both Torquillas get the attack speed. And we even found something to sell. 
Okay, so what do I want? I guess Naruto or Killa, to be honest. Or another glove. Nope, gloves don't fit. Uh, let's... I guess I could go for another one of these. So the Torquilla's fire faster. That's like the only thing I'm thinking. Attack speed. I guess it should go here. You go one up. You go like this. And the Torquilla should fit. No, it should not. Where's the one spotter? Where is the one spotter? I'm gonna find it in the... In the by switching up another egg. <laughs> Let's roll. Let's roll. Roll. The one spotter's here at least. So you join, get the attack speed. You join, also get the attack speed. On even more attack speed. I guess goes here. On our potion, irrelevant. Uh, let's sell these, obviously. On the door killer for five. We're gonna buy that. And where will it fit? I mean, it definitely fits. It definitely fits. Reorganize time, the last one. Okay, I think that's it. I mean, at this point, it's very obvious that I threw a bit too many of um, the, the things out. Too many inventory space has been thrown out, but doesn't matter. We got four Torquillas. The main aspect of what I want is working here. Right now, I just don't have one potion, this double explosion potion idea. It's okay. It's okay. No real downside here. And um, yeah, we got four Torquillas, all of them hitting everything other than these two are not hitting the i mean not everything all of them are hitting both chunkers that's what i care about that's literally the only thing i care about all of them are hitting both chunkers and uh we uh, half of them are no actually three of them are also hitting the curse dagger three of them are also hitting the poison dagger and then one of them is also hitting the ruby bulb that's it hopefully really hopefully the opponent's gonna be a super duper tank build because we're gonna destroy whatever the opponent is this is this is an insane build we created here Let's speed this down. And it is a super duper tank build. I'm it's a fatigue build even. A super duper tanky fatigue build. Let's see if we're gonna actually survive this. Down to 0 0.5 speed. Will I get up to 30? Oh, they're dead, man. Forget the fatigue build being a thing. They're gone. They're gone. They're gone. We won't see this fatigue even hit. <laughs> it's gone. Yeah, they're gone. Uh, okay, so you want better stuff in this. Obviously, Shield of Valor, 10 damage blocking was definitely not enough. It's a bit unlucky here that we didn't find anything mad lad defensive here. 40 speed at the end, 250 the one chunk, 150 the other one, 110 the poison. Did the ruby wow, the ruby bulb did nothing, man. 38 damage. This shouldn't even be here. I guess it just deflected two debuffs and gave us a bit of speed in the beginning. This did nothing. This, though... 0.27 attack speed, 0.33 attack speed, insane, this is 100% accuracy and 69 crit chance, nice, because of this thing, because they had 69 debuffs, 49 and 9 and 9 is not 69, so I don't know what you're talking about, how, what, 49, 9 plus 9 is 18, plus 49 is uh, 67, how, why, why do I get 69 crit chance? Something is off. I guess one more debuff was applied that is not visible on the map or something. Most likely something like that happened. Anyway, we destroyed them. Uh, crazy mad lad DPS. Man, this is this is insane. 0 0.27. So this thing has a 30% chance to stun. I mean, think about this. This has a 30% chance to stun. And it attacks twice within the stun ratio. So if it stuns you once... Then you're stunned for 0.5 seconds. You're not doing anything. It hits you again, which might reapply the stun. And then it hits you again. And then you play. So if this stuns you once, it attacks you two times for free. And this, if it stuns you once, it attacks you maybe two times for free. So if if this lasted like three more seconds, both of these would have been mad lad uh, crazy. Like this would have been like 0.2 attacks when this would have been 0.25. So that means I would fire four attacks every time they get stunned once. And if any of those four attacks stunned with a 30% chance each of them by the way the opponent is once again stunned for four attacks so this is literally undestroyable like if you're fighting this thing i'm not sure how you can win like you have to win within the first i mean you can win obviously with lightsaber build or something right because the lightsaber build wins within 10 seconds but if if you don't win within 10 seconds 
this will not lose from anything, right? Because this is going to have, like, as I said, every one stun is four attacks for free, which all of them can stun you. And in the meantime, you're going to get also cursed aggro and poison. You're going to be blinded. You're going to be poisoned. You're going to be cold. So all the debuffs in the world. Now, this was an insane fatigue build, by the way. I don't think triple uh, holy armor was the play, though. Maybe double holy armor plus double shield of valor. You definitely want potions. So this did not have potions. You definitely want some potion explosion. You don't want triple armor here. I think that's overkill. They had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mr shrug crystals how much fatigue did we have at the end we took 55 damage how much fatigue damage were we taking just just as a just as a question you know it should be red so let's see where red is uh, cleanse inflict drain stamina shield of valor blah 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 stamina drained wait where's where's your fatigue damage excuse me here we go deal 10 damage so we had 10 stacks of fatigue yeah that's why it's 55 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 is 55 in case you don't know, if you add 1 to 10, it's always 55. So we had 10 fatigue. I could have counted that before I went into this. So that means... Do you know how much damage we would take in fatigue? First of all, they would apply another... This is every 1.22 seconds. Okay. This is every 3... So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's say this fires twice. So this is 8 fatigue every almost 4 seconds. Right? So these guys, and this guy was applying 8 fatigue every 3 seconds. So that would mean about, about, about. So that would mean when fatigue hit, we would have been at 18. And then one more tick, let's say, yeah, and then fatigue, let's say 19. And then when fatigue hit, the moment fatigue activated, I would have taken 20 plus 21 plus 22 plus 23 plus 24 plus 25 plus 26 plus 27 from the fatigue damage and that would be every second almost so we would have taken a lot of damage five seconds later what a nice run what a nice build would be nice to be able to uh look even deeper into this by the way dps wise we didn't do that much yeah they they, they were not really that defensive it's okay six nine six okay that's that's a weird nice number over there Plus 15 on that. We're going into Master slowly. I mean, if I try to always min-max and always do the most broken builds, we will get into Master. But I do have fun. What do you want? Do you want to see me in Master? Or do you want me to continue building random builds that I just decide to test out? Uh, I was thinking about... I mean, what would I do next? What I, I would like to go back to Vampirism build, to be honest. Super Duper Shielding build is almost dead. Oh, there is a mana weapon that I haven't ever used. Mana, Mana Thirst, Mana Moon. I, I don't know what exactly it's called. It's like a mana item. I'm most likely going to play that next, if I remember. It might not be good. You might not see me have 37 next time I play this. I might have zero. I might even be in... Um, what is it called? Platinum. Because what I'm doing is always forcing builds. So that's why we lose the ranking very often. I'm like, today I'm going to play this. Today I'm going to play that. And it just, you know, goes downhill from that because of the forcing. I'm doing like five or six or seven forces. Although seven forces very rarely happening. Even five or six is very rarely. Most of the time it takes me three to four fights to get the runs going. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, this, this is going to be very different in general because I'm going to start posting the videos out of order slowly. As I will go into vacation, and one of these days I will have like a stock of 10 or 15 videos all back to back, and then, you know, it's just gonna get uploaded in a random order. So, um, yeah, forget ranking. But do you want to see me in Masters? Like, is it important to you? If it's important for you to show, for me to show you some kind of always win build, I'm gonna try to do that. But otherwise, we're gonna continue having fun here. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching, and see you guys around.